Hi, Hiram here. I've had a number of requests to try these Coglin's fuel tablets with the canteen cup stove. I thought I'd try that today and show a little modification that I've made to my stove. Basically, it's, you know, it's your canteen with the cup. Take that out, the cup out. The stove is stored underneath it, like so. And what I did was I made this little thing sits on the bottom of the canteen cover. Basically it's just two pieces of metal that I bent up to form a shelf. That just fits in here like so. That way it gives you a shelf. It also gives you a flat place to put your canteen cup. Some time ago I did a test where I thought that the canteen cup shoved down into the stove didn't work so hot. I tried it 180 degrees around and it let the heat and the flames come up the side to help heat up the cup. But then people complained that I guess their canteen won't set in there flat, falls over. So with this thing, what I did was I made a shelf, comes up and then there's a stand for your canteen cup to set on. This is just a rough made once I figure out what's wrong with this thing or what has to be changed. Uh, I'll make a better one. Just uses a hardware cloth for the uh, shelf. But I made this setup for a different burner so it's too close to the canteen cup. So what I did was I took another piece of hardware cloth and folded it so that the shelf is a little lower. I'm going to put two pieces of aluminum foil on here because I think as the uh, cubes burn they could fall through and then that won't do as much good so I'm just going to put some little pieces of aluminum foil there to set the cubes on take two cubes just like so now to make this work a little bit easier I think I'm going to scrape the tops so as to loosen, give you some loose uh, crumbs. These cubes, tablets as they call them, are really hard to light. But I think maybe like the S bit, if you put some loose crumbs on the top, it may just be easier. Set them in there like that. I have two cups of water here now setting at 61 degrees. I know this might not boil, but thought I'd do the standard cup size. Put a little piece of aluminum foil on the top of this to act as a cover. That helps it heat up faster. Put the probe back in. see if we can light this. Can you see that? Yep. I guess I won't work on any. Yeah, the crumbs light right up. And hopefully they'll light the tablet. just barely lit. Let me make sure they catch. Okay, they're caught. So now this will just set right on top of those four legs and let's see where this goes. You can see here that by elevating this canteen cup it exposes more of the sides of the canteen to the flames to aid in heating this faster. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 535, two cups of water from 61 degrees to 212 boiling in 5 minutes and 35 seconds 
let's see how long this will still burn to run out. Okay, the one cube has already gone out. The second cube is just barely hanging on. Let's say 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, it's just fluttering there now. So let's say uh, boil run out or fuel tab run out at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. So this unit like this with two of the Coglin's fuel tablets brought two cups of water starting at 61 degrees to 212 boiling in 5 minutes and 35 seconds and continued to hold the temperature above 212 until 830. So that definitely would have given us safe water to drink. But I think as you can see there's can you see that? Yeah, there's soot on the bottom of the uh, canteen cup pretty thick. It's not too hard to take off, but that's in a kitchen situation out in the field. Soot like that means mess to have to clean up. So I don't know. Might be a survival type. These tablets might be more for survival rather than everyday use. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, what you think of this little modification. It's just something that can set on the bottom of your canteen cup cover and not take up too much space and hardly weigh anything. But anyway, I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Just an add-on to this last video. I've had people asking me how hard is it to remove the uh, residue off the bottom of pots. All I do is take a little bit of Brillo or some scrubbing pad I like to keep my equipment clean Now you can do this with the uh, you know, stainless steel or the aluminum pot, but I'm not sure how well this will work on cleaning up one of the anodized, the black pots, or if it's got a coating on it, it could end up scraping that right off. Like I said, this is a doing it in a sink. Depends on how clean you want to be. Out in the field, it's a little bit harder. That is still a little stained, but that may be a previous. There you go. So it's not you know terribly hard, but it's you got to do a little work. So I thank you for watching. Again, I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.